Alrighty guys, so this little video that we're doing is rigging a Pacific Sauri. So these are very similar to a gar and a pilchard, sort of a cross between the two of them, like some Mad Max science experiment gone wrong. So Sauris are a very soft fish-like pilchards. Um, they're the length of what a gar would be. This is actually a small Sauri. They do get a lot bigger than this. Um, we're going to rig it onto a Suncoast Scoot and Tough Terminal Tackle combination rig of four 6 O's with flash. And so the way we rig this one up is very similar to a garfish. So what you want to do is line your 6 O's up so that your spike on the end of your wire goes through basically where his nose is and then that way that's your toe point. So what we'll do is we'll sort of make a mark, it's the best way to remember it. You push down on it, leaves a little dint in the fish so you know that that's where your first hook can go in. The way you want to do it is line it up so that the point of the hook goes in. You don't want it to come out the other side of the fish, you don't need to be that heavy handed. Again, you want to set it so it's loose when you put the second hook in. Be gentle not to tear the fish apart. As like I said, they are very, very soft. Top hook in with the chin weight. Fingers crossed it still lines up roughly with where the front of the fish's mouth is. Then we go up through just like we did with the jar. So in like that, slide the nose cone down over the mouth, hold the tab, wind it on. You don't need to go super tight and crush the fish's head because once the spring's on it's going to pull from the spring and your wire post there. So now that that's all sitting nicely in there, we can then slide our little octopus or squid skirt down over the top. Everyone loves pink, so that's why we choose to use pink ones. That's why we have the pink and red flash as well, because it does look like a fleeing bait fish in trouble or a wounded bait fish. So now they should sit like that. They should be flexible enough so that they wobble and give you a good idea of what they do. And these ones you control between sort of two knots up to six knots, they usually start to go okay. If you need to troll them at six knots all the time, sometimes it's better to actually rig the fish with the hooks instead of being in the gut. Turn it over and put the hooks in the same position but in the back and then have your spike go through from the top of the nostrils down out the mouth and put your screw on. And then that way they'll actually hold together a lot better because the skin's a lot tougher up along the back. And then it's up to you whereabouts you troll them. Sometimes it's good to have a mixture of baits, whether you've got Sauris and Gar or Sauris and Bonito or Gar and Bonito and mix it all up, run a couple of different rigs all at once and have some spare ones ready made up so that when you do get on a hot bite, you can just unclip it from the swivel on the end of the trace, clip your next bait on, drop it over the side and away you go and you're back fishing again within a minute.